someone's gone missing. The caller suspects foul play, but the fuzz don't see it like that. That's where I come in. It was the kind of case that cracks your head open worse than waking up next to an empty bottle of cheap whiskey. I wouldn't have believed it myself if I hadn't found an envelope full of greenbacks slipped under my door this morning. I could have kept the money and made like I had no interest in a case with no leads. But I had even less interest in being the next mug with a toe tag. The message left on my machine could only mean one thing. Somebody was in trouble and the only person they trusted was me, Winston T. Black. Who was this person with all this money? Why do they want me on the case? But with that many Benjamins hugging your wallet, you don't ask questions. So I go case the lead. It's a crummy part of town. It all looks the same to me. The hours pass and I'm running out of cigarettes when two goons yank me into the alley and bust my ribs like an orangutan playing the piano. Stars circle my head as I lie on the pavement. I can't tell my ass from a hole in the ground. The last thing I hear before going black was... Stay away from Shirley. <laughs> I was set up. Whoever it was sent a strong message. I knew I wouldn't get a second warning. It was the dame, Shirley. You stay out of my life. Funny thing was, I didn't know any Shirleys. A visit from the losers that I call customers. Who the hell are you? I'm the guy that wants to kick your teeth in. Yeah? <laughs> well, I know a lot of guys with the same idea. You have to be more specific. Shirley didn't want me coming in here, but I had to see you for myself. All of a sudden, it hit me like a ton of bricks. My name wasn't Winston T. Black. It was Clark Presley, a loving husband. It's for sure you son of a bitch. Why don't you do the world a favor? Eat a bullet. Apparently, I was a father, too. What a night. Twenty-some years ago, I'd gone mad. Mad with the suspicion that Shirley was off making music with some other player. I emptied my accounts and became obsessed with finding this other man. I'd given up on finding Shirley's lover long ago. Chasing shadows don't pay the bills. The good news was, I had just about put the pieces together on this case. One night after knocking back too many, I wrote Shirley and spilled my guts. Sometimes, whiskey lullabies are the only way I can get some decent sleep. Someone had gone missing. Someone who I used to know.